Hey everyone, today I want to walk you through some of my personal tips and tricks in Luminar Neo. So starting off in the catalog, I want you to remember ETL, and this will enable us to toggle between the edit section, presets, and back to the catalog. So if we click on E here, you're going to see it brings us to the edit section. T will bring us directly into the presets, and L will bring us back to the catalog. Now, if you think of L as library equals catalog, kind of the same thing. Tip number two, within the catalog, if you click on spacebar, you get the film strip view. So if you use your arrows, you can toggle between your images and you can also use hotkeys like P for favorite. So if I click on P, you're gonna see now it's listed as my favorite. Now, if I wanted to reject the image, I can press X and you're gonna see below here that it's a bit dimmed down, so it identifies it as rejected. And then to cancel all of that, you just have to press U to unmark that selection. Tip number three has to do with zooming in and out. So by default, if you left click the mouse, it's going to zoom in at a fixed ratio, right? If I click that again, it's gonna zoom me back out. Now you can do the same thing with the space bar. So I'm gonna click on the space bar, and then we're gonna zoom out again by clicking on the space bar. Now, if you have a mouse with a scroll wheel, you can use that to your advantage. So if I scroll in and out, you see that I could zoom in and out easily. Now this is quite handy instead of using control plus or minus, you've got it right at the tip of your fingers. Now, when it comes to brushes, you can also use the scroll wheel. So I'm gonna convert this image to a black and white first. And then we're gonna go into masking and brushes. So if we look at my brush cursor here, if I hold shift and use the scroll wheel, you see that I can increase or decrease the size of my brush. Also to increase and decrease the softness, if you hold shift and bracket, you will see that I can adjust my softness with this shortcut key. Now, personally, I haven't figured out a way how to do it on the mouse. I've tried a few combinations. You may need a mouse with multiple buttons. I don't know. If you happen to know, let me know in the comments below. Still on the brush tips to toggle between paint and erase, you simply just have to press X. So if you look at the cursor, you see that it's got that plus symbol. If I hit X, it's got the minus one for erase. So if I'm gonna toggle, I'm going to do this here. And you see the black and white shows. If I want to correct that, I can just toggle by hitting X and I can take out that mask. Now, if I wanted to make a straight line selection, all you have to do is hold shift. If I were to click on this area here, go down all the way here as I hold shift and click, you see that's gonna make a very straight diagonal line for me. So this technique works well with buildings or structures. This next tip has to do with the histogram. If you look at the histogram here, you see the peak indicators are off. If you click on J, you will toggle between the peak indicators. You see the red here, a little bit of blue. Click on J again to turn it off. Now, if you wanted to import your watermark, you can design it in a free program like Canva, for example. And I'm gonna import the one that I did for this demo going to increase the opacity and it's a simple black and white image. Just going to apply it here and then all we have to do is go into your blending modes and change it to multiply and it'll remove all the white and keep the black. So I can apply this anywhere on my picture and the same thing can work for logos. Next I'm going to show you how to create this very simple cinematic preset. So I'm just going to apply it so that you see how it looks. It's got almost that cinematic vintage look. And then we'll apply it to this image so that we can see a variety of how it looks. So let's revert this to the original and I'm going to show you how to do this. It's really simple. So let's head over to develop and look for curves. We want to open up curves. And the first thing you want to do is click on the blue channel here. 
And what we're going to do is take this little handle here and we're going to bring up the blues and the shadows and the blacks just a hint. So if I bring this all the way up, you're going to see how blue the image gets. We don't want it to get that blue. We just want a little bit of that blue hue to be in the shadows and the blacks. So as you see here, let's do before and after. And then we're going to go to the red channel and do the same thing, but not as much. I'm just going to lift the reds just a tad. Again, let's do a before and after. And then lastly, this is more of a personal taste. In the creative section, there's a section called matte. And basically what it is, it gives you kind of that faded contrast look. And you really just have to experiment. So what I like to do is bring this up to usually around 40. And then play around the fade slider to get something like that. Obviously you can tweak it to the way you like it. But this is basically how I start. And then I will make tweaks to it afterwards. So one last time, let's do a before and after. And then you get that look, right? Now to save the preset, you just have to go into your actions button down here and then you'll see save as preset. I've already saved mine earlier, but you can do it here. And just remember that whatever you name it, that you click on enter so that it saves and you can even save it as a favorite preset. And then we can go into other images here. I'm going to go on the edits. Click on T for presets and apply that preset and there you go. So I hope you found those tips and tricks helpful. There's quite a few more that I use on a daily basis. So if you want to see more, let me know in the comments below and hit that like button so I know that you want to see that content. Now if you're into portrait editing, be sure to check out this video where I go over some portrait retouching techniques in Luminar Neo. Until the next video my friends, I'll see you when I see you.